For two people to agree on something, they must have the same thing in mind and agree on it. It seems simple, but each person might have a different interpretation of the idea in mind. Or worse, one person might have an idea in mind and the other person might have no knowledge of it or no intent to agree to anything. If that happens, do you have an agreement at all? The 1993 case of Schreiber v. Olin Mills sets the record straight. Olin Mills ran family portrait studios across the country and frequently used telemarketing to gain customers. In November of 1989, an employee from Olin Mills called S. Allen Schreiber, who didn't take kindly to the telemarketer. Schreiber wrote a firm letter back to Olin Mills stating not to call again and asked to be taken off the telemarketing list. Schreiber's letter continued to outline how any future calls would be considered as entering into a contract for Schreiber's listening services on a for-hire basis. Schreiber noted that any future calls would be invoiced at an hourly rate of $100, plus late payment fees, minimum charges, and any attorney's fees needed for collection. After this, Olin Mills placed two more calls to Schreiber, but didn't pay any of the fees in the letter. Schreiber sued for breach of contract to collect $479 in fees. Olin Mills filed a demurrer, arguing that a contract didn't exist. The trial court granted the objection and dismissed Schreiber's complaint. Schreiber appealed to the Pennsylvania Superior Court.